we do not see life as play. We don't see the world as a playground. We don't experience the abundance. We're experiencing life as a proving ground where everybody is competing with each other with scarce resources to get enough, be enough, have enough, and ultimately to, in order to get the love, the basic needs met that we all have. We don't really have, it's not a basic need to be a star or status or those are like secondary. The need is for connection. The need is for love. The need is for, is to be free. You know, it's, it's to, so we've created this massive distortion of a playground into a proving ground. And now with more and more attention, a battleground, right? Because the more insecure we are, the more we see the world through the lens of our insecurity, the more other people become threats, the more, you know, we have to do and be to, to get what we need, we, the more we have to struggle to get what we need. We play to the extent that we feel safe. It is our natural state. We don't have to become more playful. We, what we do to liberate our playful true nature is create enough of a sense of safety. And that has to do with a t- connection, attachment, feelings, th- feeling securely starts our sense of safety and connection starts very young. And that imprint becomes our worldview, like how we experience safety when we were in our first few years of life. The wonderful thing that happens when we're playing is that we are both passionately engaged, 100% there, present, you know, and not attached to the outcome because the point isn't how it ends. The point is the joy of the moment and being in the playground with other beautiful playmates and relishing the moment, whatever it is, that is the state with the passionate engagement without the attachment to outcome. That's the state that is the basis for the world that we want to live in. That is the state that's going to create the world. That's going to be able to have the ingenuity the the love the connection the the well being the sense the the um the resourcefulness that and even the vision and the sense of like is this life enhancing like is this is this fun is this keeping the play going that is the state that is the basis for a life sustaining that's like the central pattern you know when the caterpillar goes into the cocoon all these everything becomes goop except for those imaginal cells which are the pattern that is the basis of the next level of transformation. When we're playing, it's like a pattern of wholeness. That's the basis of the world that we want to create. And our state of mind, which is that engage, that total presence and delight in and welcoming of everything that comes and not attached to outcome. It's the paradox of it will create the best outcomes while not being at, not having that at stake, not holding the outcome as the purpose. So that's really like when we're in an apocalypse, what, what is going to create the level of safety? The question is like, we're terrified. Our very, our very being, our very existence, not just ours, but everything we love is at stake. What is it that's going to create a sense of safety that's going to have us feel safe enough to be enter that state, which is the only state which will engender a world that's safe and viable? Like, that's the question, right? How do we get that safe that we can be in fires and in in pandemics and still have be rooted in a sense of well-being that isn't dependent on our circumstances. It's possible. Mm. That's what I have to say. It is possible. It is the deepest, the biggest. This is what transformation is for. It's to open into that realm, that pos- that state where we know we're safe and can play and can play while changing systems, while protesting in the streets, while whatever we're called to do, there's nothing we have to do because life itself is moving through us with its genius and its creativity, guiding to us to do exactly the next thing that will support life. There's no 
right way. There's no wrong way. It's life with its infinite wisdom that took 13.7 billion years, created a, a planet, a species that could reflect on itself and learn how to play like life. And that is what I think this moment is for, is to learn how to play like life, which is always safe. It's not like a life. It's life itself. So what is that? It is, it is awakened awareness. It is a spiritual transformation. It is the, it is the biggest deal. And this, and I honestly feel like it's like I'm coming out of the closet. Like I don't want to play anything less than, than that. And I want to support people in the healing, which is like unblocking those blocks within our system, like helping the trauma and the fears and the conditioning, like letting our, like supporting people in, in letting energy on, you know, the energy blockages unwind mm-hmm. so the play, the play can come through them, but also in anchoring in our true nature mm-hmm. so that we can play full on passionately without it, any attachment to the outcome in the midst of an apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Uh, chills. Uh, I'm speechless. And it, it is possible. I think by simply believing that's possible, the way we orient ourselves and hold ourselves when we believe in that possibility, that alone is transformational, right? So true.